Hello, it's Daniel and welcome to this trip report. In this trip report, I'm flying with an airline that most people have probably never heard of. I'm flying with Irish specialist airline, ASL Ireland. During the summer, ASL Ireland's sole passenger 737-300 was based at Belfast City Airport and operates to Faro in Portugal and Malaga in Spain, and I'm flying to the latter. A random 2am browse on Flight Radar 24, as you do, is exactly how I found this flight. Once I found it, I had a quick look at the flights on Elingus's website, which I then found flights for £45 one way and decided I had to book it and include it as part of a larger trip. Belfast City is actually Belfast's secondary airport. The main airport, Belfast Aldergrove, is actually located 40 miles from the city centre, whilst Belfast City is only 15 minutes away. Even though Belfast City is quite small, it was actually a breeze to pass through and there's a couple of good restaurants and shops in the terminal. ASL Ireland's sole passenger 737300 is 22 years old, which is fairly young for a 737 classic. My seat on this flight is seat 4A, which I paid £17 extra for. It was worth it because there was a little bit extra legroom and it was right at the front of the plane. The flight time to Malaga is 2 hours and 40 minutes. Belfast City only has a 6,000 foot runway, which means the 737 will need to use full thrust for takeoff. And now for the full throttle departure out of Belfast City, this takeoff was something else. The legroom was pretty good, perfect for the flight down to Malaga, considering I was sitting in an extra legroom seat. The seat pocket contained ASL Ireland's safety card, but it contained Aer Lingus's buy on board menu, their own in-flight magazine and their duty free shop. The 
Ale Angus's buy on board menu had a fair choice of drinks and snacks. The pricing was reasonable too, however it did lack hot food options. I decided to buy a can of Sprite and a lemon flapjack. The cabin crew were very friendly, however the service was slow. This was due to them being low on spare change, however it's something I found to be normal on holiday flights. To pass the time on the flight, I downloaded a few TV shows and movies on Netflix. The flight was practically sold out with only a couple of spare seats. The red seats in the cabin were really nice and gave a bit of a modern feel to the aircraft. I also found the seats to be really comfortable as well. For the majority of the flight it was clear and smooth and the views of Spain were stunning. Here's the approach and landing into Malaga. The approach was stunning to say the least. Overall, the flight with ASL Ireland down to Malaga was pretty good. The experience was everything I expected to be, especially because it was a holiday flight. The seats were not what I was expecting and were really comfortable. If I need to get to Malaga again in the future, I would rather go for a convenient option instead of going out my way to fly a particular aircraft or airline. Just a couple of months after taking this flight, Aer Lingus announced they were axing Malaga and Faro for summer 2020. Just a few weeks after the announcement, ASL Island retired their sole passenger 737-300. Once I found out about it, I was really glad I gave in to temptation by booking this flight. Thank you, Thank you. Thanks for watching this trip report. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one.